All right, guys, it is Sunday, March 28th, 2021, about 4.30 p.m. I've got, I've had the refrigerator on, the van, solar, running off the solar under the bed there. It was plugged in for about five or ten minutes. It got down to 27 degrees. I believe the compressor is still running. So what I did was I shut it down. There's nothing in it. I shut it down. This is just a test. I shut it down and then I transferred the 12 volt back over to the uh, goal zero with my new battery in it right now. And so that is powering the refrigerator at 43 watts. You see there the output that it's using with the compressor on. Nothing else is powered up on this, on this device right now. So I'm just running the refrigerator from it from the goal zero Yeti. 400. I just replaced the battery with a um, brand new 33 amp hour 12 volt battery that I got off Amazon and I did a video on that that whole process is just unscrewing the four bolts at the top and pulling out the old battery and putting in the uh, new battery so just did a video also on van lighting that I'm gonna post so you can see how I light the van se several different ways so there's the refrigerator getting down to temperature that's the Dometic CFX 40 refrigerator that model I think is discontinued they have a new line that's out there now but again that refrigerator is running perfectly had it for several years and I use it on and off in the van not all the time but I want to keep it running this summer and this spring and summer 24 7 or more a lot more frequently because I want to use the van more and so I beefed up the power system It's coming on Tuesday this Tuesday the uh, 30th It should be in house and when I get it I'll do some videos on it and unboxing and it should be able to power the refrigerator a lot longer and so Right now the goal zero is doing fine with the new battery. I'm happy with it again, this is a another way I could power this refrigerator if there was uh, the battery under the bed the 120 amp hour battery was low and there was no sun no power getting to the battery under the bed I could switch over to this battery and still keep the fridge going or keep it going through a night and then switch back over to solar during the day so that's my plan with the new system is to be able to switch back and forth and keep the fridge running all the time so I've got two options with the van, uh, the option with the Renogy system that's uh, in the van. There's the solar controller in the back there and um, a standalone battery system uh, like the Goal Zero system, but a little bit more wattage, a little bit more power. So that's the video today, guys, on that. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on the van and how it's set up. And I've also, with the new power system that's coming, I could run some electrical appliances like a hot plate, you know, a coil type stove, a microwave, um, an electric uh, water heater that heats water for coffee or stuff like that. So I don't have to always use the gas stove. If I'm inside the vehicle, I don't want to light the gas. I could plug into the power system and use those electrical appliances in this van. Uh, without uh, you know running the battery down because of the power that it's going to put out It's got a bigger inverter in it and it's able to push out more wattage and power those systems up So that's what I'm looking forward to doing and being you know Not have to depend all the time on lighting the stove or using uh, you know a flame So that's just more options. I want uh, to have in this uh, vehicle. Okay Thanks for watching guys. Take care and stay ready Anthony uh, signing off.